Hello all, welcome to Wondershare eDraw Max. In this video, we will learn about the component diagram in UML. The component diagram shows the structural relationships between the components in a system. In UML, components are made up of software objects that have been classified to serve a similar purpose. Components are considered autonomous encapsulated units within a system or subsystem that provide one or more interfaces. Components can be interchanged and reused and they interact via interfaces. Component diagrams help to imagine the system's physical structure, pay attention to the system's components and how they relate, and emphasize the service behavior as it relates to the interface. When to draw a component diagram. Component diagrams help to divide systems into components and show their interrelationships. The breakdown of components into a lower level structure. Now let's see a few of the component diagram notations. Component. A component is a logical unit block of the system, a slightly higher abstraction than classes. It is a rectangle with a smaller rectangle in the upper right-hand corner with tabs. Provided interface. Provided interfaces define a set of public attributes and operations that must be provided by the classes that implement a given interface. Required interface. Required interfaces define a set of public attributes and operations that are required by the classes that depend upon a given interface. Dependencies. Draw dependencies among components using dashed arrows. Component assemblies. Components can be wired together to form subsystems with the use of a ball and socket joint. Port. A port indicates that the component itself does not provide the required interfaces. Instead, the component delegates the interfaces to an internal class. How to draw a component diagram. You can draw a component diagram in the following steps. Step 1. Decide on the purpose of the diagram. Step 2. Add components to the diagram, grouping them within other components if appropriate. Step 3. Add other elements to the diagram such as classes, objects, and interfaces. Step 4. Add the dependencies between the elements of the diagram. Now let's see how to draw the diagram. Navigate to File, click on New, select Software and Database, and Software Development from the subcategories, and now choose UML Modeling. Click on the plus icon to open a new drawing sheet, UML Component Diagram Library. Most of the symbols related to component diagrams can be found here. Drag and drop the required shapes on the drawing pane and adjust accordingly. Now we'll be adding component symbols. This is the component box. Provide the name per your requirements. To duplicate the shapes, hold down the control key and drag. Now add the relationship symbols.
To add text, select the text option under the Home tab. Select the shapes and click on Style on the right side of the page. Here you can find options to fill the shape's color. Right-click and choose Select All Connectors to change the style. Select Fit to Drawing under the Page Layout tab. Uncheck Grid Lines under the View tab and click on the From Beginning icon to preview the diagram in a single frame. Now let's see a few examples of UML component diagrams that are available in eDraw Max. Here's a system component diagram. And this is a HASP licensing UML component diagram. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.